Now that we've learned how to work out the area of a circle, they sometimes ask us exactly the opposite. They give us the area of the circle, and in this case it's 40 centimeters, and it should be 40 centimeters squared. So they've given us the area, and they want to know what is the radius of this circle. So in other words, this measurement. What is that measurement when they've given us the area? Now we know that the formula for working out a circle is area equals pi r squared. Pi times radius squared. Okay, that's our normal formula we use. And again in this instance we'll use 3.14 as our pi measurement. So, quite easy. To work out this sum, to find out the radius, all we're going to do is, because we know the area, there it is, the area, we're going to put 40 centimeters squared, and we are going to do opposite. We are going to divide it by 3.14, and let's see what we get as an answer. Let's see what we get as an answer. 40 divided by 3.14 is equal to, and I'm going to write down this number, 12.7388, and we don't need any more digits. But do not delete that. Leave that there, because there's still another step. Right, so we've divided that now. Now we're going to look for the square root, okay? That's the square, square. We're going to find the square root of this number, because that was the answer from 40 divided by 3.14. So the square root, all we need to do is locate the square root button, okay, on our calculator, press that, and it comes up quite a large number, okay? Quite a lot of digits, I mean, not a large number. 3.56915, and we'll stop there. Because for the most part, your teacher might say, round it to one decimal place or two decimal places. And in this instance, we'll round it to one decimal place, okay? Only one. So there's the first digit after the decimal point. So we always look to the right and we ask yourselves or yourself, what is the number? It's a six, is it five or higher? So yes. So my final answer is going to be 3.6 centimeters, not squared, just centimeters, because it is a distance, okay? So there's my final answer for working out the radius when they've given us the area.